Hello and welcome to our channel Animoni Review. In collaboration with Star Academy Online, we present you explanatory answers of sample test number 4 which was held a day before. So let's start up. The first question. A man is 24 years older than his son. In two years, his age will be twice the age of his son. The present age of his son is, the correct answer is, 22 years. Now how? Let the son's present age be x years. Now, if his present age is x years, then his, uh, the father's, the man's present age will be x plus 24. Why? Because in the first statement of the question, you can see that a man is 24 years older than his son. So, if we are keeping son's age as x years, then the man's age will be x plus 24 years. Now, let's make up an equation. The second part of the question says, in two years, his age will be twice the age of his son. So if his age right now is x plus 24, then in 2 years that means x plus 24 plus 2 is equal to, will be equal to what? The present age of his son. Now what is the present age of his son? The present age of his son is x. In 2 years it will be x plus 2. So it will be twice. Twice means we are going to multiply it by 2. So this is how we will form an equation. Now, after forming the equation, we are going to simplify it. So, 24 plus 2 is 26. x plus 26 is equal to 2x plus 4. Let's just bring all the numbers on one side and bring the x on the uh, left-hand side. So, x is equal to 22. Number 2. A grocer has a sale of rupees 6435, rupees 6927, rupees 6855, rupees 7230 and rupees 6562 for 5 consecutive months. How much sale must he have in the 6th month so that he gets an average sale of rupees 6500? Now this is an average kind of question. Like it's the question about average, not an average question I should say. The correct answer is rupees 4991. So, if you know the basic formula of average, we are just going to substitute the values. Okay. Now, we have the total sale for 5 months. We will add up the total sale of 5 months, which is equal to rupees 34009. Now, what is the required sale? Or, uh, sale? It will be, uh, we want the 6th month sale. Okay. That is what we want. And we have the total in hand. So, what are we going to do? We are going to multiply it by the total number of months okay which is 6 so 6500 will be multiplied by 6 and out of that we are going to subtract the total sale for 5 months which is 34009 so after doing this up we will get 39000 which is uh, written over here minus 34009 when you subtract it out you will get the answer as rupees 4991 which is option A Number 3. A library has an average of 510 visitors on Sundays and 240 on other days. The average number of visitors per day in a month of 30 days beginning with a Sunday is. The correct answer for this is D285. Now let's find out how do we get this answer. Since the month begins with a Sunday, see this is mentioned in the last part that 30 days beginning with a Sunday is. Okay, so if the month is beginning with Sunday, so there will be 5 Sundays in 1 month. Now, required average is 510 into 5. Now, why 510 into 5? Because we mentioned that there are 510 visitors on Sundays. And how many Sundays are there? There are 5 Sundays. So, 510 into 5 plus how many visitors are there on other days? 240. 240 into 25. From where do we get 25? Well, there are 30 days in the month. Out of 30 days, 5 are Sundays. So, we are subtracting 30 minus 5. We get 25. So, 240 into 25. What is the total number of days? 30. So, we are keeping 30 in the denominator. Simplifying it, we get the answer as 285. Number 4. In a certain store, the profit is 320% of the cost. If the cost increases by 25%, but the selling price remains constant, Approximately what percentage of the selling price is the profit? Now, the correct answer to this is 70%. Let's find out how. Now, let the cost pr uh, price is rupees 100. We are keeping it just 
as such that let the cost price is 100 if the cost price is 100 then the profit is equal to 320 so let's add it up 320 plus 100 is equal to rupees that is the sale price rupees 420 all right now the new cost price is 125 percent of rupees 100 that means it is now rupees 125 so new sale price is still the same as it is mentioned that the selling price remains constant so the selling price will be 420 so what will be the profit now we will simply do this that we will subtract out of 420 we will subtract 125 we get the answer as rupees 295 now what is the required percentage they have asked us what is the approximately percentage of the selling price uh, selling price is the profit required percentage is 295 divided by 420 420 was the selling price don't forget that as we need percentage so multiplied by 100 so solve it out and you get the answer as 70 percent which is option b number five a fruit seller had some apples he sells 40 percent apples and still has 420 apples originally he had how many apples now look at the question he sells 40 percent apples and still has 420 apples that means the 420 that is remaining is actually 60 percent so he still has 60 percent apples and the value of 60 percent is 420 so originally he had he had 700 apples let's see how suppose originally he had x apples then 100 minus 40 percent of x is equal to 420 420 why because this is what he has now now 60 divided by 100 why is it 60 because 100 minus 40 is definitely 60 as i said earlier that he is left with 60 percent apples so 60 divided by 100 into x is equal to 420 simplify it keep x on the left hand side bring the others to the right hand side so 420 into 100 over 60 solve it and you get 700 which is option d number six what percentage of numbers from 1 to 70 have 1 or 9 in the units digit? The answer is C, 20. Now clearly the numbers which have 1 or 9 in the units digit have squares that end in the digit 1. Such numbers from 1 to 70 are, you can write down the numbers. There aren't many numbers, they are just 14 in number. I have shown you the numbers written here. Number of such number is equal to 14. Now we need percentage as is mentioned in the question. What percentage of numbers? So required percentage is equal to 14 divided by 70. Why 70? Because we have a total amount of 70 numbers. And for percentage we will multiply it with 100. We get 20% as the answer. Number 7. A shopkeeper expects a gain of 2 2.5% which is 22.5% on his cost price. If in a week his sale was of Rs 392, what was his profit? Well, the answer for this is Rs 72 which is option C. How? Now, cost price is equal to Rs 100 over 122.5 into 392 which was his sale. Now let's just solve this out uh, as it was 122. Now just keep in mind why is it 122.5 because we are always keeping it as 100 and then we add up the expected gain or the profit and as the gain was 22.5 so 100 plus 22.5 is 122.5. So we are keeping it in the denominator multiplying it by 392. Let's solve this out. Uh, as there was a decimal point that's why while removing the decimal point we get 1000 in the numerator and 1225 in the denominator solve it and we get rupees 320 now the profit is equal to rupees 392 minus 320 which is equal to rupees 72 option c a sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees 815 in 3 years and to rupees 854 in 4 years the sum is now sum of money means the actual amount on which we are giving simple interest so the sum is rupees 698 how is it now simple interest for 1 year we have to calculate the simple interest for 1 year how do we calculate that we have the 
uh, simple interest which was given in three years and the one which is given in four years so the one which is given in four years minus the one which is given in three years we get the answer as simple interest for one year so 854 minus 815 is equal to rupees 39 so simple interest for three years if uh, 39 rupees is the simple interest for one year so for three years it will be 39 into 3 which is equal to 117 so the principal amount or the sum of money is equal to how do we calculate that 815 minus 117 and the answer is 698 which is given in the option C number 9 a sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C, D in the proportion of 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. If C gets rupees 1000 more than D, what is B's share? The correct answer here is C rupees 2000. Let's see how. It's a ratio proportion type of question. Let's do it. Now let the shares of A, B, C and D be rupees 5x, 2x, 4x and 3x respectively from where are we getting 5x 2x 4x well you can see it in the equation uh, the question it's clearly little uh, written that a is 5 b is 2 c is 4 and d is 3 so we're just adding up x along with it now if c gets rupees 1000 more than d that means 4x minus 3x is equal to 1000 so solve 4x minus 3x it leaves only x behind which is equal to 1000 that means the value of x is 1000 so b's share will be what was b b was 2x so 2 into 1000 is equal to rupees 2000 very easy number 10 if 0 0.75 is to x is equal to 5 is to 8 then x is equal to cross multiplication question you can just simply write it down x into 5 is equal to 0.75 into 8 keep x on the left hand side bring 5 on the other side when you multiply 0.75 into 8 you get answer as 6 divided by 5 and the correct answer is 1.2 now let's come uh, to the analytical type of question here Henry delivers flowers for a local florist. One lovely day, he left the windows open on the delivery van and the cards all blew off the bouquets. He has to figure out who gets which flowers. He has five bouquets, each of which has only one kind of flowers, daisies, roses, roses carnations, iris and gladioli. He has five cards with names on them, a birthday card for Isabel, a congratulations on your promotion card for Jenny, a graduation card for Kevin, an anniversary card for Liz, a housewarming card for Michael. Here's what Henry knows. Now, what I say in these kind of questions is that always make up a table. Try to formulate a table and put in the information that you understand from the question because that's much better rather than just keeping it in mind that, okay, I've memorized this thing and that thing. Rather than that, make up a small table and incorporate all the information that you know from the question given. Now, Let's make a table like this. This is what we get from here. Roses are Jenny's favorite flowers and what her friends always send. You can see underneath Jenny I've written roses. Gladioli are traditionally sent for housewarming. Now in the question above it was written that housewarming card was for Michael. So definitely gladiolis are being given to Michael. Kevin is allergic to daisies and iris. So if Kevin is allergic to daisies and iris what are we left with? We are left with carnations. So Kevin carnations. Liz is allergic to daisies and roses. So if Liz is allergic to daisies and roses, then we have to give her iris. And neither Liz nor Isabel has moved recently. We are just left with daisies. So Isabel is going to get daisies. Now keep this table in front of you whenever you're solving the question and you will see that it becomes extremely easy to solve these kind of questions. You just have to crack the code. That's it. Now, which flowers should be delivered to Kevin? As is mentioned in the table, you can see underneath Kevin, it's written carnations. So, carnations is the correct option. Which flowers does Michael get? Michael is going to get gladioli. As we mentioned, that gladiolis are being given during housewarming events. Which flowers will be given on promotion? Now, who was getting promoted? Jenny was getting promoted. So, Jenny is going to get roses option b number 14 who is going to get daisies 
so we were left only with daisies and isabel was not getting anything else so isabel is going to get daisies which word does not belong with the others now you can check all the words evaluate assess appraise instruct out of these instruct does not belong to the others because instructed is about giving instructions about uh, telling what to do whereas evaluation is about checking okay or assessing so definitely it doesn't belong to the rest of the words which word does not belong with the others again peninsula island bay and cape the correct option is bay why a bay is a body of water while all others are land forms so bay is about water body whereas the others are land forms number 17 look at this series 544 509 474 439 dash what number should come next now in these kind of questions i always instruct that please look at the format of the series first of all check if they are descending or ascending in the order so if they are descending then definitely it has to be something related with subtraction or division and if they are ascending then it has to be about addition or uh, multiplication so you can see in the series that it is descending the correct option is 404 So this is simple subtraction series. Each number is thirty-five less than the previous number. So five forty-four minus thirty-five, you get five zero nine. Four seventy-four minus thirty-five, you get four thirty-nine. So what are we going to get when we subtract thirty-five from four thirty-nine? We get four zero four. Another series question. Look at the series two zero one, two zero two, two zero four, two zero seven dash. What number should come next? The correct option is two hundred and eleven. Now the series is ascending this time, so it can either be addition or multiplication. Now in this addition series, one is added to the series uh, to the first number, two is added to the second number, three to the third number, and so forth. So that means two zero seven plus four is equal to two hundred and eleven is the correct answer. Choose the pair that best represents a similar relationship to the one expressed in the original pair of words. Now the pair of words given over here are frond is to palm. So the correct option here is quill is to porcupine. Fronds are the leaf-like structures of palm tree, whereas porcupine is the rodent animal and it has those spike-like quills. So the correct option here is A. Metaphor is to symbol. The correct option is D. Analogy is to comparison. A metaphor is a symbol, and analogy is a comparison. Now here we have a comprehension. Please go through it. This comprehension was way too easy. Always keep in mind that you have to make sure to check from where to where is this comprehension given. So this que uh, question, uh, the comprehension is given from question twenty one to question twenty five. So here are the correct answers. You can just go through the comprehension. I don't think there is any problem. If still you find any problem, please contact us. So for the twenty-first uh, question, the correct option is C. Twenty-two. Which one of the following places limits on how far we can take our anger? Well, log is the correct answer. Twenty-three. According to the author, how should people deal with their anger? They should express it assertively. Option A. What does the author mean by being assertive? Option C. Being respectful. Twenty-five. How, according to the author, can one suppress anger? Well, you can suppress your anger by holding on to one's anger, by thinking about it, or by converting it into anything else, or by redirecting. They are all other different options. Choose the word most similar in meaning to the capitalized one. Synonym of embezzle is. misappropriate now embezzle means to steal or to rob so misappropriate would be the synonym of embezzle synonym of enigma is puzzle because it means mysterious so mysterious puzzle mean the same synonym of delegate now delegate is a person sent or authorized to represent others so representative will be the correct option option a complete the sentences by using the correct word Twenty nine. The passengers were very happy. Dash the perfect treatment given to them, by the perfect treatment given to them. The children were disappointed because they had hoped dash with us, to go with us. Option D. 
He is the friend dash I trust most, whom I trust most. Whom is an objective pronoun which will be used here. Identify the meaning of the given idiom. To beat black and blue, it means to beat mercilessly. Option B. 33. To end in smoke, it means to fail. 34. To let the cat out of the bag, it means to reveal a secret. Which of these words is most nearly the opposite of the word provided? Now we are going with the antonyms or the opposite words. So impartial, biased will be the antonym. Impartial means to be without prejudice or bias. Therefore, biased is the correct opposite. Luminous. Now, luminous means radiating or reflecting light or glowing. So, dim means dark or dull, which is the correct antonym here. 37. Expect. Correct option is despair. To expect is to wait for or to look forward to. To despair is to lose all hope. So, despair is the correct antonym. Now, we move on to the miscellaneous part. Which among the following is the first Gulf Arab country to reach a deal on normalizing relations with Israel? The correct option here is United Arab Emirates, UAE. Option A. Name the British Pakistani who became the permanent House of Lords member. The correct option is C. Amr Sirfraz. When did the government of Pakistan unveil a new political map of Pakistan? Well, it was just before the day, the Black Day, 5th August, so the correct option is 4th August 2020. Recently, South Korea agreed to provide dash dollars to Pakistan for its fight against COVID-19. Correct option is C, $800,000. When did China launch its first mission to Mars? The correct option is A, 23rd July 2020. Which ratio measures the number of times the receivables are rotated in a year in terms of sales? The correct option is B, debtors turnover ratio which is also called receivable turnover ratio and it measures how efficiently a firm uses its assets. 44. The budget which is prepared first of all is called budget for key factor. Grand Central Terminal Park Avenue, New York is the world's largest railway station. 46. Who is the current governor of Balochistan? It's Amanullah Khan Yasin Zai. Option C. 47. Who prepared the grave of Prophet peace be upon him? The correct option is Hazrat Abu Talha which is option C. The Hijri calendar was innovated by Dash. Option C, Umar Farooq Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu. 49. Which of the following describe correctly the group of seven countries G7? The correct answer here is C, they are industrialized countries. Keep in mind, G7 is the group of seven countries. It is an international intergovernmental economic organization consisting of seven major developed countries. They are not developing countries, they are developed countries, which includes Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, UK and US. 50. Which personality is famous for delivering Allahabad address? The correct option here is C. Alama Iqbal. Allahabad address was delivered in 1930. Just a year before Allahabad address in 1929, Qadiyazam delivered his 14 points, the famous 14 points. And a year before the famous 14 points, Nehru published the infamous Nehru report in the year 1928. Thank you for viewing with us. Good luck. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.